Hello YouTubers, so this is my corkscrew weeping willow that I'm making weep with wires and this is the last wiring of this year. Dance now. Yeah, so everybody will dance now because I ain't got, I ain't got a bother and worry about wiring it again until June probably maybe we'll see but this branch here that i've already wired and spent a lot of time wiring all them branches i want that off because i want to try to compact this tree in a bit more i don't want it coming out as much as it is so if i compact it in a bit more i'll be happy and that one does need to come out now what i will do is i will cut it probably about there Get my trusty wire cutters and pow. And that's it. Now the bit I've cut off, I'll just sort that out on the bottom. I'm just gonna put that in water and pitch black for like a week, two weeks, and hopefully that'll root. But we will see. Now I'm a firm believer of cut paste and that cut is going to need some paste on it right now now when applying my cut paste I am quite liberal I like to slop it all over there I want to make sure there is a film protecting all over that cut and I've heard if you don't put a lot on then like if you do it in the summer it's not so bad now but if you did it in the summer it would dry out more and then you'd have to reapply i have heard that that is a true story now this is the section we're going to be working on today okay now we will be removing some branches but it will be mostly wiring and as you can see it's it's still actively growing to be fair and the date is the 24th of october and i am in the uk and I've, I've stopped feeding it. I stopped feeding it a good month or so ago, I think. It was quite a while ago. Now I'll just zoom you in and we'll show you the first branch that I'm going to wire. And I think that's going to be that one there. That, that is the main leader of that branch. Now for this branch, it's quite a thick branch. I think where I have been wiring and rewiring it it's only going to need two mil possibly for that bit because there's not much movement at the bottom to keep that rigid if you get what I mean Am I using a two? yeah that's a two that's a two mil now I know I said I was going to wait until winter to wire this down but I had a brainwave. I thought, why bloody wait till winter? Number one, it was a weekend and I was bored. Number two, if I wire it now when it's still got the leaves, I can see where the nodes are going to come out next spring and it'll make wiring so much quicker. So that was the method to my madness. And I'm mad. Oh yes, I'm mad. I got bad guts in there. Wishy washy. But at the same time, doing it this time of year, as you can see, it is a lot more difficult because there's still a lot of greenery on it and you can't really see what you're doing. It's, it's got to take your time with it, really. But look at that. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, it's just gonna be a wiry mess. And yes, it will. 
for a little time, just over winter. Because as soon as spoon comes, where my guts? As soon as spoon comes, I'm going to have to cut all these wires off because it grows so quickly. So that's next year's problem. I spent 35 quid on this tree on wires. I've gone for copper finish wire. It's still aluminium, aluminium, but it's copper finish. But yeah, I, use, I bought a 0.5mm, a 1mm, a 2mm and a 3mm. I used a 3mm, not that much on this, why even this for this winter. 2mm I've used a lot, that's probably the go for to be fair. 1mm, sort of quite a bit of that and all. 0.5, I did try to wire a 0.5 branch and um, it didn't, it, it sort of didn't have the stability to be fair, it still didn't, it didn't really do much. So I think I just wasted money on a 0.5mm wire, in all honesty. Because I think with the branches that small, in the winter I'll just cut them off and then they can sprout out again come spring. That's sort of what I'm thinking with the really smaller branches. Now I'm nearly at the end of wiring this branch and I'll, after I've done that I will commence with just bending it down like so there you go bend it down like so so YubiTubers that is that bit done as you can see now we've got three different sections in this bit here and on this last section here we've got a couple of branches that I want to remove because they don't look with, in proportion with the tree because it all needs to look in proportion you see so you see that little scraggler we'll have him out got a trusty wire cutters how I think we'll have him out how I love it we've got one Nice bendy corkscrew willow branch coming down. That looks sexy, doesn't it? How it just contorts. Oh, it bloody will come spring. You wait and see. As if I still got a channel by then. Not been on it for a week, so just it's, it's dead. It's dead. This video will probably only get like ten views. But if I give just one of you 10 viewers. Just a little bit of inspiration. That's all that matters, you know? It's just all that matters. Just one viewer. Inspiration. <laughs> yeah, just one viewer. That's it, yeah. Yeah, sod it. I, I don't do it for the money. I do it because... I just... I just love bonsai now. I, just, I got a hobby. I don't think I'd ever have a hobby. And I've got a hobby. I've got a hobby. Bonsai King. No, I'm not a Bonsai King. I'm an amateur. But I don't see a lot of people working with willow. Corkscrew willow. I'd like to see more people working with corkscrew willow because it would give me some ideas. I'm just, I'm just winging it. I'm just winging it. I haven't got a clue. Sort of looks good. Well, hopefully it will by the end of this video. But I'm wiring this down now, this branch, as you can see, with my two millimeter. Yeah, that's a two millimeter wire. And come winter, when all these leaves have fallen off, you'll you'll see the branch structure a lot a lot better, and then. You can say, oh yeah, fair play guy, yeah, you did get that right, yeah, that looks alright. But until then, you can say, no, nah, that looks crap. And I'm not going to subscribe to him. You can have all. 
Or you might say, oh, wow, that looks great. I'm definitely going to subscribe to him. He's a bit, he's a bit bad. So whatever that, or drunk. Or tipsy. Tipsy, I'd say. But yeah, well, I've got a few branches just to sort out from there. And voila, there we have it, YubiTubers. We are sort of nearly there. Now, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep these branches, but I got a lot of dye back last year, and they started to go black and work their way up to the top of the branches. So I think the longer I leave it, the more chance I'll get to have these branches longer come spring. Now, if I have given you any inspiration whatsoever, or just a like, that'd be nice. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Here's the green fingers. Ta-da. <laughs>